Hello world, this is always just you down, show you down game. And today I am having a uh, this quick tip for Sony Vegas. Alright, today I am gonna teach you going to teach you how to have dual screen videos, like two screens in one video. Alright, uh I'm gonna show you one way by uh this way, obviously. You can grab this uh split screen right here. Slide it up. And it'll have this white and black. Uh, my def like I changed my default trim to white because I think it looks cool. But um, you can have it um, as the default black or the default white was or white. Um, okay, you can change the colors. See, so we're gonna put it red and blue. Okay, so you can just close it out um, if you do not want to change anything, like which video gets more uh, side, like whatever. Um, so we're going to go to imp file, input, media, and then I have a whole lot of uh, videos from my HTTP viewer. Um, so we could just say boop is funny and Halo sniping, I guess. So we got the two videos that we're gonna um use. All right. So all you have to do is right click, say insert video track, bring the first video down. When it gets in there, you just have to wait a little bit. All right. Uh, there's the video right here. So I'm gonna hit this little um, event pan crop. You can zoom out a little bit with the uh, well, you could just do that, and you can uh, stretch it out. All right, you can already see that what's going on. So, you just uh, left click and hold the left click and drag it to the uh, make the video seem like it's on the left, right there, and then you right click, insert video track, go back to your project media, grab your second video that you would like to use. Went to a load. Uh, I am just going to cut this up by right clicking on the end of the video and the beginning of the video and dragging it in. Uh, drag it in some more. <clears throat> okay, and if you want your clips to be like your video to be long, you can just grab the um, split screen. Alright, so hit the event pan and crop. Drag it out some. Bring it to the right. Zoom out with the mouse wheel. Hit it where you want it to be. Um, I'm not doing it perfectly. Um, you can put in values of um, where you want it on your screen by changing these up, like the rotation and the position. The X is this way, uh, horizontal, and Y is vertical, and the height of the box and the width of the box. Which would cause it to uh, the box to become larger or smaller. This box right here, the F box, <laughs> uh, not the effing box, just the F box. All right, so uh, we're gonna hit play, and you can see that this video is moving, but this one um, is moving also. Yeah. All right, then a uh, little thing you can do to uh, improve it is adding text. All right, so insert video track put it on top drag it open a little bit um, let's just call it test dual screen um, epic fail with the test um, yes 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 so, okay. alright and then you go to placement bring it to the bottom or the top wherever you would like um, for uh, tutorial purposes it doesn't really matter um, you can change up the font and the outline and the shadow and the deform and the color of the text yep green mm. alright and so make sure everything's all lined up straight put that to the end a little bit more and render and then you put it wherever you want to put your video um, these are my settings uh, I just use the um, 
MWV and six for when I'm doing gameplay videos I put it on eight so it could be 1080p um, 30 frames per second and when I'm doing like a um, blog I just use six which is 720p and uh, it works just fine um, that's it this is where I was just down shit down gaming I hope y'all found this uh, tutorial very helpful and useful uh, please comment rate and subscribe